بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد The caravan that you see me standing in the middle of today is a physical representation is a reenactment of the caravan of Imam Al-Hussein as it entered Karbala this being the second of Muharram it is the day where the caravan of Imam Al-Hussein had entered the holy city of Karbala and as you can see the amazing work that has been put in to try uh, recreate that entrance of Abdullah al Hussein. In terms of the, the dress, in terms of the war drums, in terms of the, the animals used, the props used, it really does bring the story of Karbala closer to heart. Um, this traditional caravan every year comes around the shrines of Abi Abdullah al Hussein Abu Fadl Abbas and does go around the entire city uh, making the people know it is like a symbol making the people aware that we have arrived in Karbala. We have now begun the month of mourning. The family of Rasulullah, the family, the Ahlul Bayt have now landed to their final destination, the land of Karbala. We will speak to two young Sayyids now um, who have also come all the way from London, who I believe have never seen something like this. So we'll try to get a take of their emotion and see the difference of what they experienced back home and what they have seen here today. I'm now again accompanied by the two Sayyids who have been with me throughout the journey, my younger brothers Sayyid Hussein and Sayyid Hadi and Nawab. I want to see their take on what they see here in terms of the caravan, in terms of the reenactments, because we don't have something like this in London to this extent. So again, I want to take their opinion, see how they feel and what emotion they feel when they see this caravan. Sayyid Hussein, when you come through the streets of Karbala, first time in Muharram, and you see camels in the street, people dressed up in Tashabi. What do you feel? What do you think is going on? Um, I think what's going on with this caravan is they're recreating the story that happened thousands of years ago with Imam Hussein and Abbas. It's the same thing but they're doing it in today's time and uh, certainly we don't see this in London in Karam and it's my first time in Karam in Karam. It's very exhilarating to me because it's the first time and I've had to see now, we just wait for the walk-up to proceed. As you know, it's very hectic out here in Karbala.
what you saw was a procession of Zanjeev, the hitting of the chains on the back. This represents the chains and the whips that were used on the backs of the women of the camp of Imam al Hussein. So what we do is every year, every day, we go in with the procession to commemorate and to feel a little bit of the pain that the women of Karbala felt. We rip our backs with these chains and we go from the shrine of Abbas to the shrine of Hussein, lamenting what happened on the day of Ashura. And inshallah, regardless of the conditions in this world, we'll continue to lament till the last breath and till the last days in our lives.